When you're out and about enjoying a snorkel or some scuba diving, one of the most annoying, definitely detrimental to your enjoyment and potentially even dangerous things that can happen is your mask fogging. Luckily though, this is also one of the most avoidable things. So let's look at how to stop your mask from fogging. So this one's definitely fogging and I'm going diving tomorrow, so I need to do something about it. Just before I tell you what steps to take in order to prep the mask, I would like to look at why these masks fog. By the way, if you are not interested in this section, you can just skip forward. If you like the channel and if you like the video, leave a thumbs up and if you want to see more of this video and be notified whenever I put them out, just subscribe using the bell. So why do the masks fog? Well, this has to do with a process that is called condensation. It's a process that stems from a temperature difference between the inside and the outside of the mask. When this happens, tiny droplets of humidity build on the inside glass. They have quite a high tension and it's very difficult for them to actually slide off the glass. It's the same thing that happens when we're cooking in winter. We have a nice and warm kitchen and cold temperatures outside and our windows fog up. In order to avoid that, we need to keep our masks inside glass very clean and treated. I'll tell you all about that in just a second. But let me tell you, there's a couple of factors that increase the difficulty for that humidity to slide off. and this has to do with residue. Residue such as silicon that can be left on the inside of the mask from production process or um, other residues such as for example sunscreens or creams or dirt in general. Now lastly there's another thing that happens and that we all do no matter how experienced we are sometimes as scuba divers we do that and that is breathing out through our noses instead of our mouths. When we do that, we go and insert warm air inside the mask, increasing the temperature difference and facilitating that condensation process. Now, let's look at what to do to stop the mask fogging. So what are these miraculous steps to get your mask to stop fogging? I've got my mask here. This is quite an old one. I have used it in October last time, but I'm going to repeat the process. And if you have a new mask, you should definitely always prep it before you start using it. And to do that, you need two magic tools. Namely, the first one, a lighter, the second one, some toothpaste. Now you think, wow, what kind of sorcery is that? And well, it's not sorcery at all. The first thing we're going to do is, using the lighter, we're going to burn off any of the residue that is inside of the mask, and that is mostly the silicone residue. To do that, you want to hold the mask horizontally like this and set your lighter, uh, your lighter's flame to small, and then very carefully go inside the um, mask with your lighter and start literally burning the um, glass of the mask. You'll see that if you do that uh, there is a halo forming and that is a good indicator that you're removing some of that leftover silicon. Be very mindful when you do this. Try to avoid touching the edge of the mask um, because you don't want to ruin your mask and melt any of the frame's silicon. You'll see that when you're done with this process, your mask will be quite black on the inside. The glass will be black, that's normal. What you can do now is you can just go and wash that off and if needed, you can repeat the process. I now have the mask dried. I'm gonna apply the toothpaste quite simply open the toothpaste, get a couple of generous dollops on your finger and then just go inside the, the mask and smear that toothpaste all over the place. You want to 
put that toothpaste not only on the glass but you want to go and put that on the silicone frame as well on the inside. Make sure you get all the angles, all the nooks and crannies. And that's it. Mask full of toothpaste. Now, why do we do that? Well, it has to do with the fact that the toothpaste has a property of actually detracting humidity from the silicon, meaning that that uh, breathing process, that losing of, of silicon residue will decrease. So that's, um, yeah, just how it is. Now, what you want to do is leave this overnight, wash it off the morning after, and then we're going to look at what to do the morning after. So I've treated the mask's glass a couple of times with the lighter, I've put in the toothpaste, I've left it overnight, I washed it off and now I'm ready to go for my snorkel or diving activity. And uh, there is one important step, I'm sure you know about it, uh, that we need to always do before we actually start our activity and that is adding something called a surfactant and a surfactant it sounds very mystical but it's nothing but a layer uh, that we add to the actual glass of the mask which helps with those micro um, droplets of humidity and it lets them slide off more easily off the mask the most readily available type of surfactant we have is carried with us all the time and it's our saliva. I'm sure you've done it before. Well, remember, add, if uh, you don't have anything else, just spit inside your mask, smear the saliva on the glass, then dip the mask and then you can put it on. Um, if you don't uh, want to do that, uh, especially in these times, well, um, some people uh, prefer to use some dishwashing soap like this one here, I love that. Just to add a couple of drops into the mask on the glass, smear it, then give it a good wash off and then put the mask on, that will keep it from fogging. Uh, sometimes when you're on a boat, you may have something like that uh, with water and dishwashing soap, same principle, spray some of that onto the glass of the mask and then um, let it rest for a little bit, wash it, go put it on. There's other products as well. Some people swear by using baby shampoo. Some people buy ready-made droplets. I mean, that's completely up to you, uh, your budget. I really like the dishwashing soap that has always worked perfectly for me. In any case, whatever you do, uh, whether you go snorkeling or diving, remember to treat your mask before you start. That's important because you've come to have a good and clear view and that uh, means more enjoyment as well as more safety. I mean, especially when you're scuba diving, you can actually flush your mask when it um, when it fogs, but that uh, is something that will cost you eventually during the length of your dive um, a fair amount of air, and, and it's a sub-optimal thing, so remember to treat your mask. Right, I hope I've helped you um, with the mask. If you've got any questions or any comments, just uh, drop them down below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Other than that, well, uh, stay well, dive safely, and as always, keep your soles wet. So I've decided to go for a snorkel after all. It looks like the perfect day for that. And I'll take my camera and shoot a bit of video as well. By the way, uh, a while ago I've made this video up here with some uh, tips on how to shoot better video underwater. Um, that might interest you as well. See ya.